Hello and good afternoon to each and everyone who are present here, especially IIM faculty, the director and all my other co-speakers, the seniors and the juniors and all. So, this person Zoya Lobo who is standing in front of you all, today giving me this opportunity to stand in front of you all and to speak and deliver the message, ideas that travel not with me, with you all in our day-to-day -day life, in 24-7, our whole day, 365 days of our life. So, the journey of Zoya Lobo is from train to photography. Isn't it interesting? So, you all must have seen always a trans community people either at signals or you all must have seen them in the trains or, or during marriages when they come at your home for a blessing. But this trans person you are seeing here today standing in front of you all and speaking and will motivate you all with her various stories like in her life how she went uh, ahead, how she became a photographer. So my journey was not that easy getting a DSLR camera and taking pictures, going various places, covering news photography, photojournalism, heavy fl flooded rains was not that easy for me. So journey as a photographer was not that easy to start. My journey started from Mumbai local trains. I used to beg in Mumbai local trains for my living because begging, now you all must be confused like why she's saying about begging, why she's to beg in the trains. Because it's a sad reality of our society when they get to know that there is a trans in the family. Our family members, they become a stigma. They don't, they think that this person is not fit amongst us. So they neglect us, they tell us that you better mind your other space. So in this way, we don't get much education or we don't get much uh, acceptance in the society. Lack of education, lack of uh, acceptance in the society. At the last, a transgender person has to land up at signals or on the local trains. Same story was also with me, but slight changes were there. Belonging from a Christian family, tried my level best to cope up with my education, so could speak so better and fluent English in front of y'all. Otherwise, I can go in Hindi also. <laughs> Otherwise, the director sir will tell me that you have to speak in English only. <laughs> so, yeah, in this way, the journey started going on from 2010 and it's 2022 going on. From 2010 to 2019, this Roya Lobo was in the local trains. Lots of struggles and hurdles came in my life. Police harassment happened with me in local trains. Sometimes people from the local trains also harassed me. But although breaking all those barriers and moving ahead in my life, tried to find out my own way, my own path. Dream was to be an IES, IPS, but couldn't cope up with that. So here, when I decided to be an IES, IPS, being an ISIPS, the idea was that that seeing lots of corruption, lots of unwanted issues which were happening in front of my eyes. How I can help a person if I get this opportunity? How I can, you know, uh, give that person a justice if that person is going through lots of issues in his life? Somehow, the life was going on. One fine day when I was uh, sitting at station, was surfing on a social media platform and I saw that video, a part one of that video, the movie's name was Mizra Shrap Ki Vardhan. So here the word comes, Mizra Shrap Ki Vardhan. So I'll explain you all, like are, are we transgenders are curse or we are blessings to the society. So here I saw this movie and part two of this movie when came was on the way to come. I spoke with the person who made this movie. He gave me an opportunity to work in this movie. This movie got 2.6 million views. And on the success party of this movie, I met a person 
from a media industry who has who has his own uh, news uh, agency a youtube channel a weekly newspaper he just gave me a push here again we see a idea where this person put his ideas to change someone's life he wanted trans community person to come on mainstream so he used his ideas in that way that this person might do something in the society and yes his ideas came true and today soya logo is known as india's first transgender photojournalist
the famous newspaper in Mumbai, Mumbai Mirror, Times of India, Hindustan Times. This papers, second day this papers, my pictures got published and my name was being published in that paper, Zoya Thomas Logo, where my father's name was So I told, I told my friends that I have never ever anywhere dropped my father's name. Mm. And yes, after that slowly, slowly journey started going on. My first uh, achievement which came in my life. Uh, sorry. So there was again a massive fire. So always I had a uh, query in my mind. That if there is a fire, what picture should I click? How picture should I make? Should I go or should I not go? Because in photography, until and unless there is uh, there's a flame is not seen, your picture is not with a fine art. Because when there is a fire picture, there is a flame should be there in your photo. So although I went, I clicked this picture, I am a hydrophobiatic person. Although I climbed that bridge which was under constructed, uh, I can say that bridge was at the height of 5th floor. I climbed that bridge to take this particular picture. My luck uh, gave me a support, a good support. That time in my camera, a single frame and a single point battery was left. I don't know what picture I have clicked, but this beautiful picture was been clicked by me at that time. And I came home, I started filing pictures for my newspaper and I posted even on my Instagram. And we photographers have a group, photo journalist group we have on WhatsApp. So uh, this photo got posted on Instagram and after that it went on Facebook also. So one of our seniors, he picked up this picture and he posted his group and everyone was appreciating this picture. And like I felt so happy that time that yes, somewhere or the other my picture has been appreciated. That time I ran my, I gave a call to my senior who taught me little bit about photography. His ideas helped me to travel ahead a lot because I was not aware what pictures I have to make when there is a fire or you know big disaster is there. He had taught me, he had taught me. Like we say ideas travel with generations to generations like that. His ideas have travelled with me and I try always my best to explore those ideas with my other fellow photographers also. Always when they are on the beat. Whatever ideas I have related to photography, how that person can, you know, get motivated or how that person can move ahead in his life with my little small idea might help him to change his career or his way to click more better pictures. In this way, I click this picture and trying to click more good pictures. So the second achievement, uh, uh, first biggest achievement of my life came was Katrina Kev K Beauty. K Beauty turned to that time I got a call, a message on Instagram that you have been selected as a face model for K Beauty. I was not much aware about this, but I think it's a part of this uh, beauty project that like, I'll be posing with them for a picture. So the scene happened over here. I had got a call from an agency for a big uh, big ad campaign and everything got set. My focus was there on that campaigning. Unfortunately, my phone was stolen. So all my mail, my IDs, everything was erased and I was intense. But although, however, I tried, I hold it to myself, I said, no, there is something good and big going to come to you and you are going to move ahead in your life. With this motivation, I walked ahead and luckily I got this uh, ad campaign with Katrina Kev to do and I moved ahead and in my life I always try to motivate all others when I listen to them, I listen to their stories that my so and so work is not happening or this or that. I try to motivate them with this incident of my life, in my life what happened with me because the ad which had came to me long before was a very pop ad, it was a big ad for me where I could have bought a very you know, a first hand camera for me. Right now I'm using a second hand camera, but that ad if I would have done, I could have bought a brand new camera for myself. But yes, I know more than buying that brand new camera, I got a more a big exposure. And after this, my second achievement which came was 
Google India. This achievement gave me that success in everyone's heart. People who were ignoring me, they looked at me and they smiled and they took selfies with me. This was a proud moment for me. But this big building in, my, uh, in Mumbai, Rajali, is the famous place where this big billboard was put up. And not only my fellow press people, but all other people also whom I was not knowing. They, when they saw these holdings, they literally came and they took selfies with me. And I was like really very happy for that moment for me that they were taking selfies with me and taking pictures. So this was the again second big achievement where the day this thing came, I first sent to my sister. I sent her this picture and I purposely marked over there where my name was written, Zoya Thomas Lobo, photojournalist. After 11 years, my sister started talking to me on WhatsApp. Till that time, there was not no acceptance by her to me. After 11 years, she started accepting me. See, we people, our trans community people, after all, we are human beings. And we need lots of acceptance and a space in the society. You all give us that acceptance and space will make gold and platinum out of that. So, I think our topic for today is idea travels. Yes, ideas do travel. Like, how, as I told you that my son, his ideas came in use to me and I share those ideas with others. In this way, there are lots of ideas are there in us. So we should keep on sharing our ideas which will help us to motivate someone or to change someone's life. If our one idea can change someone's life, think how many people might change some other people's life. So we should keep on motivating others and should move ahead in our life. Thank you.